Hello everybody, welcome back to ISDET DWF uh, uh, repair bench and this time uh, we'll be dealing with uh, an Apple II Euro Plus uh, which is a nice uh, addition uh, in, in my collection and this one was uh, uh, not very expensive uh, um, considering uh, uh, the Apple II prices uh, uh, lately, but it's very uh, in a sorry state, d very dirty. Yeah, some stickers here. Uh, quite uh, uh, in abandoned state, um, and it comes from a smoking environment uh, because most of this uh, uh, dirt uh, is smelling. Uh, like mm, cigarette uh, smoke uh, or something. Here is the internal part. Uh, very dusty. Oh, there is a missing uh, run chip here. Well, not a big deal. And dirt, dirt. Um, stickers or something. No expansion board, but that's not a problem because I have uh, quite a few spares. And okay, let's see what uh, we can do to both clean and make it in a fully functional state. Uh, this Apple II. So stay tuned.
So let's uh, follow the actual uh, uh, motherboard repair. Um, the fact that uh, every integrated circuit is socketed on this motherboard uh, doesn't make much difference on my approach on repairing. So we'll probe around the uh, various signals and try to understand what's wrong. I also printed uh, all the schematics uh, for, for this board revision from this uh, very good book that I found uh, on the internet to be downloaded. So, so let's connect everything and let's begin. Okay, since the last time I powered this on, uh, the behavior changed. Uh, there is a completely blank screen and yeah, as always the first thing to do on this uh, microprocessor circuits is to check the input clock to the CPU which on uh, 6502 is on pin 37 this one and there is nothing just an high signing now so the first thing to do is to bug the clock uh, generation circuit. Okay, the clock um, comes from B11 directly to the input on the CPU. And <coughs> on B11, we should find uh, uh, a one here because of this uh, full up resistor and uh, an input clock on pin 2. And if we probe P11, which is this one on pin 1, now we have an I signal on pin 2, also high. So, of course, on pin 3, we have an I and no clock at all. Now, next step, uh, we'll uh, look on the schematic uh, briefly. We have to find on P9 of P1, which is this one, uh, 14 megahertz signal, and we have one, 14250, which is pro correctly the clock for the European version of the Apple 2 Plus. And so, let's see what's uh, missing here. This is a good news actually because the input uh, uh, clock to which uh, we are missing on B11 comes from uh, another pin of this uh, chip and the clock input on this chip is working. So to make a long story short, I've uh, checked the uh, most chips uh, and as we have seen there is a good uh, clock input on pin 9 but I found that Q2 is stuck high and so this chip cannot uh, work correctly um, so i found this signal stack high as you can see but i also found uh, a stack high input on uh, pin 12 which is uh, what makes q2 uh, stack high so also pin 12 is stack high so i moved back on uh, uh, the driving chip and also this one looks good every signal uh, is what it should be uh, considering the its input also is stack high uh, pin 11 and that comes from another um, chip which is uh, this one C C2 and this has uh, uh, a good clock also and the input is stack low in this case and it comes from uh, UD2 with is this one and this one has a strange uh, signal on the inputs like you can see and it means since it's driven by uh, the other chips that are really checked this one must be uh, not making good contact the inputs don't make a good contact and that's what I found okay normally uh, would change uh, the chip uh, uh, right away but 
I thought uh, I would show you how to recover completely uh, an oxidized uh, uh, pin uh, chip like this one. Uh, of course, a 74 less 20 is uh, not a rare chip, it's not custom and, or anything, but um, anyway, I like to maintain the machine as original as possible. And this is the oldest chip uh, in the whole Apple II Hero Plus, so uh, it deserves uh, to be restored completely. And the reason why the pins uh, need to be um, retained is because the pins internally are uh, iron, as you can see. Uh, this is a magnet. So the pins are iron uh, tinned externally, so the tinning went off on uh, the iron rust. So, well first uh, clean uh, the rust oxidization with a little drop of uh, a generic uh, metal polishing uh, um, cream uh, and uh, no toothbrush. Um, and so and then after cleaning the oxide uh, uh, we will wash the chip and apply uh, flux and new solder on each uh, um, pin well of course the color differences are now only uh, the iron uh, versus the tin uh, where it remained and of course I scratched the pins uh, before even starting uh, and tested the chip so I'm sure this is good otherwise I wouldn't bother um, making this uh, retaining of every uh, pin so now uh, I'll apply uh, flux on every uh, pin and then a little uh, amount of solder and will be removed the excess with uh, um, solder wick if necessary okay now it's uh, much better didn't remove uh, much of the tin on the largest part of the pin because that won't go into the socket anyway so it's ready to be installed back where it belongs Okay, next step, uh, I connected the floppy interface on slot 6, connected the floppy 2 and uh, inserted uh, the ADT Pro boot disk, so uh, I will try to transfer some uh, um, diagnostics on uh, other disks and try um, if everything seems to work, but um, seems to work enough uh, at the moment. So let's see what happens. It's loading correctly. And as you can see, uh, it says it requires uh, 64K. And this machine has 32K. Uh, they are uh, 1632 uh, uh, sorry 48k 1632 this row this row and this row uh, 48 um, and you remember the at the beginning uh, we found a missing chip um, 
because this Apple II, uh, the, the, the original Apple II or the Plus and the Euro Plus, uh, was supposed to have uh, um, a card on uh, usually on slot zero, which is called the language card uh, that adds uh, another 60k of RAM and um, an option ROM which is identical to the F8 uh, uh, ROM present in the uh, Apple II Plus and the Euro Plus, of course, uh, which was an. Uh, um, meant to upgrade uh, the original F8 uh, uh, boot ROM uh, on the original Apple II uh, because this one can boot from uh, the floppy card and the original one uh, uh, was not meant to boot from the floppy card uh, so this uh, uh, language card is missing and I don't have a spare one so I will probably try to obtain one or design my own um, and that would be probably covered in another video um, so I probably will use uh, my Apple II C to create uh, uh, diagnostic disks but I'm not sure they will uh, work without a language card maybe yes or maybe not anyway this is um, probably the end of this uh, part uh, with this Apple II Thank you for watching.